Hey guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we discussed like how we can extract a sentence embedding using sentence transformers. And in this video, we will continue and learn that how we can use them for text classification. So text classification could be like uh, sentiment analysis, even intent classification are simple like uh, spam detection and so on. So we will see like uh, how we can use it uh, for various NLP applications. But in this video, let us start with like building a classification model and we will use a PyTorch as a base library to build these models. So when we install the sentence transformers, it already installed. So we don't need to install anything. So let's go ahead and build our first NLP model. OK, so let us say our model name is uh, class classifier. Okay, and for uh, PyTorch, you need to extend uh, NN. So let us uh, import it, and uh, you simply type and uh, say control space. It will suggest you. So you can simply say module, and let us say init. And we need uh, what we need. We need input embedding. So let us say embedding dimensions. And we need number of labels. Let's say num labels. And we need dropout as well. So we'll apply dropout before feeding the embeddings to the uh, actual model. And let us uh, say super. So we need to initialize the NN module as well. So and to do anything. And let us say so what we need is we need uh, first let us uh, uh, simply uh, create a local variables. So so let us say self dot embedding dimension is equal to embedding dimension and let us say self dot num labels is equal to num label and let us say self dot dropout is equal to oops. okay so let us uh, create our linear layer. So that will be like, let us say, self dot ff is equal to an n dot linear. And that should be of the size embedding dimension. So we are just, we will use just a single layer uh, MLP. So it will simply uh, take input and uh, return us the uh, number of labels in that dimension. Okay. So let us say we have this. It's better we use self. Right. Okay. And let us use uh, another, uh, let us create another uh, layer for dropout definitely. So let us say self dot dp is equal to n n dot dropout. And let us say dropout. Okay, and uh, that's our uh, model initialized, and uh, we need to create a forward method. So for uh, iTorch uh, uh, module, you need to create a forward method as well that will run when we want to uh, run training or prediction. So let us say forward and. Uh, let us say we have input is our input embeddings. Okay. Say input embeddings. And uh, now let us simply call like uh, tensor is equal to self dot dropout and input. Okay. 
now what we will do let us create uh, our classifier and see like what it gives us as output okay so we have the embeddings uh, but they are not tensors so in trans in sentence transformer we can uh, get the encodings either in numpy object or as a tensor object so let us uh, by default it gives us a numpy object so let us convert it to get tensors so we can use convert to tensors is equal to true now the output we will get is as a tensor so let us say we want to change it to size now and let us now remove this part because uh, we will not use it and let us create like our classifier instance is equal to classifier what we need is the first of all embedding dimension so it gives us like uh, num samples like uh, and embedding dimensions okay so because the size of embedding is like number of samples cross embedding dimension which is like 768 for a digital bird base this particular model okay now let us pass it to here also you need a number of labels so let us create labels let us say we have a labels is equal to so i have marked here like these are of the same class and then we have this is the second class so let us say tensor torch let us import that as well torch dot tensor and let us say we have uh, this 0 0 1 1 and 1 okay and now to get the labels we can simply use uh, like a unique uh, method of tensors so let us say we have uh, n labels is equal to labels dot unique and simply run shape or we can run size as well and simply say zero okay so this will give us the shape of the uh, unique labels and if we get the zeroth dimension it will give us num labels okay so now we have all the information that we need to create our uh, model so let us say we have uh, embedding dimensions as well and then we have n labels as well and then we have let us say dropout is equal to 0 0.01 okay we will use this on let us pass the embeddings to this and let us say what we get as output okay classifier embeddings and let us print output model output dot size so at the moment we have this tensor we can simply return it here as well return tensor but we are at the moment only applying this uh, dropout layer okay so we can run and see it what we get as an output so let us run so it will encode the sentences and then run the um uh, forward pass okay okay so we get the output like uh, what we send actually with uh, dropout applied so let us uh, add uh, more uh, layers on the input like uh, more processing so we can apply like a uh, feed forward uh, layer as well so we can say tensor is equal to self dot ff and we can simply say tensor so now so this layer will convert it into these many labels so the output will be like number of samples cross number of labels so in this uh, example are the in the training data we have only two uh, classes that we want to classify the text in so the output of uh, this particular uh, feed forward layer would be just number of samples cross two okay so let us run and see it you see we have five segments and we have two classes so we get the output in that dimension 
you can also simply print, print the whole distribution itself like what are the actual values in that particular matrix so you can see that as well i mean this is not like something uh, um, intuitive at the moment or it has any uh, any information about but when we train the model we will see that how these uh, these value changes uh, with the trained model okay and uh, let us uh, add one more thing here in our model so this particular uh, tensor is called log its after feed forward network but what we want is like uh, these values to be a uh, probability distribution so we will apply on this uh, uh, softmax layer uh, softmax function so let us import like a functional object so we will import uh, from torch dot and then dot functional as f now we will use a function module to uh, get the softmax f dot softmax and simply say tensor and we want to take the uh, uh, softmax on the last layer like this this array or the, this row so we will say dimension is equal to minus one okay now this is our model actually so what we did is actually we created a simple uh, dropout layer sorry this one is dropout layer and then we simply created a feed forward layer and then we simply called them in this forward uh, method okay so that's our model let us uh, get the output now here we need to have uh, another output which is probabilities now if we will print the probabilities we will see like they will sum to one instead of these uh, minus uh, values uh, these this row should sum to one okay so let us run and see it should you see so the model output is like some random numbers but the softmax output is like uh, it is a probability distribution so this row sums to one this row sums to one and this row sums to one as well so and so on okay and this row sums to one so these outputs are with random weights and when we train the model these probability uh, these probability distributions will be proper like uh, they will specify okay this particular class is uh, this particular one okay okay so if you look at it here you can see like the probability distribution we have it like on various classes we have in our classifier but what we want is like to get the uh, the highest probability for which particular class we have so we will see like how we can do that so we can simply use a uh, torch dot argmax so let us do that so simply print it torch dot argmax and simply pass the probability distribution to it and then say we want it on dimension minus one which is actually rows okay so let us run and see it now it will return like here zero and for this zero and so on definitely it is not framed so it won't return the proper uh, uh, classes but uh, we will see like uh, after training it will return the proper classes are correct correct classes okay let us run and see it so you see it returns zero which is like 0 0.647 zero because this one is higher this one is higher i mean for all of them you can see like the zeroth index is higher that's why it gives us zero 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 okay so we will stop here in the next video we will build the, like the training loop where we will train the model and test like this as well so thanks for watching bye for now take care see you in the next